Did I once? Did I once? Did I once? Good eye, mates. I'm Flinty, and this week I'll bring to you ten facts that you didn't even know about the Bind Snuff. Now, where better to start than the very first fact? So let's get cracking. One. Did you know that the name Snuff has a very interesting origin story? The reason for the name Snuff is that it's a direct translation from a French term which means drooling prisoner. And that's because when the band started, they had a passion for drooling prisoners, or at least pictures of them. And now on to fact two about the band Snuff that you didn't even know. Now, did you know that when the Bane Snuff started making music back in the 1980s, they started off as a rap crew. After a few low-brow hits in the rap world, they decided to move on to different types of music, first of all sticking to a kind of policeman rock, which ended up not being very popular, and then moving on to punk rock, which is where they still are up until today. By the way, they're no longer a rap crew. And now we move on to fact number three. Three. Did you know that for the first three years of their career, the Bane Snuff played exclusively in Greek restaurants for their geeks? You'd never find them in a bar, you'd never find them down at a local hall, you'd certainly never see them at an important arena. No, you'd just see them in Greek restaurants, because that's the kind of thing that they'd like. And now on to fact number four, that you didn't even know. Now the band discovered the band singer and drummer, Duncan Redmond's, when visiting a jewellery store in London in the area of Kensington. They were perusing around the jewellery stores when they saw that Duncan was working in there singing songs to passers-by in the entrance to the jewellery shop. And of course, they realised that his voice was one in a million, so they took him on, hired him, and here he is. And now we move on to fact five. But you didn't even know. Five. Now Snuff's keyboard player Lee plays the guitar and also plays the keyboard. They're very good gigs and also on the albums too. But did you know that Lee not only plays the keyboard instrument but also knows how to use the keyboard on a computer? That's right, he knows how to use both types of keyboard. And now on to fact number six, about the Bane Snuff. Six. Now, did you know that guitar player Loz is nearly eight foot tall? This is due to him having the longest knees in Great Britain. If you ever see his knees, you'll see that they're more than two foot long, in fact. They're very interesting to look at. So next time you go and see a snuff gig, make sure you have a look at Loz's long knees. And now on to fact seven about the Bane snuff that you didn't even know. Seven. Bane singer Duncan Ridmans is a huge advocate for the flying beast the helicopter. Even since he was old enough, he took helicopter lessons and bought his own personal helicopter, which he lovingly named Jessup. The band never drive to shows if they don't have to, because they'll simply fly in Jessup from town to town. 
they really are the flying bane, you could say, but they give a town a flying visit. Fact 8 about snuff. Eight. Now, did you know that the trombone player of snuff, Ollie, is the world's best free hand digger? He can dig up to three foot down with his bare hands in two minutes at any given spot. That's why sometimes he's hard to find. He could be hired by anyone where they need some vigorous digging done. He's always got dirty hands, says our Ollie. Always digging up things with his fast and big hands. And now on to fact nine about the Bane snuff that you didn't even know. Nine. Now, did you know that the Bane snuff have more albums than Michael Jackson? And David Bowie had hot dinners last year. My God, that's a lot of albums they've got under their belt. And finally, on to the final fact that I'll have for you about the Bane snuff. And hopefully it's something that you didn't even know. Now, the popular song Martin was written in honour of astronauts, the discovery men of space. It's not actually called Martin, it was originally called Martian, but over time its name changed and so people quite wrongly refer to it as Martin. It's been spelled incorrectly several times, so once again people might say Martin, but no, it's actually called Martian. Well thanks very much for finding out all about the Bane snuff that you didn't even know. Now there's lots of things that you do know. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below if you really want to. Otherwise, don't even bother. I'll see you next time. Take care, guys. All the best.